To thread our machine, we need to first wind a bobbin. To retrieve your empty bobbin, first take off the removable storage compartment, open this front cover, pull this latch to remove the bobbin case, and inside the bobbin case you'll find your empty bobbin. This is a class 15 metal bobbin. If you ever want to purchase additional bobbins for your machine, make sure that you purchase Singer class 15 metal bobbins. Now let's place the thread on top of the machine. To do that we're going to raise the spool pin and set the spool on the spool pin. If you prefer to use your thread in a vertical position, you can use your auxiliary spool pin, which is located in your removable storage compartment, to place your thread on the machine vertically. For now, I'm going to use it horizontally, so I'm going to place my thread on the spool pin and place the spool cap on to hold the spool securely in place. For help on how to wind the bobbin properly, you can refer to these purple guides at the top of your machine. Step one tells me to bring the bobbin thread into this first metal guide. Number two tells me to bring the thread around my bobbin winding tension disc, wrap it around kind of like a little letter E, and make sure that the thread is snugly in the bobbin winding tension disc or the bobbin won't wind properly. Bring your thread to the right and go in from the center out through one of the holes of your bobbin and set the bobbin on the bobbin winding spindle. Hold your thread tail, press the bobbin to the right, then step on your foot controller to begin winding the bobbin. You can stop and use a small scissor to trim your thread tail close to the top of the bobbin and resume winding. You can stop whenever you have enough thread for your project or you can continue winding until the bobbin is full. When you've got the amount of thread on the bobbin that you want, push the bobbin back to the left and then lift it off the bobbin winding spindle and trim the thread. The next thing we're going to do is place our bobbin in our bobbin case. As a quick reference, you can check the diagrams here at the front of your machine. But let me show you how to do it. You place your bobbin in your bobbin case, like so. And when you pull the thread, make sure the bobbin is turning clockwise. Bring this thread into this little slit here at the side of the bobbin case and then bring it around this metal tab and pull it until you feel it and hear it click into place. Next, open the door and hold your bobbin case by this little latch. Place it in your bobbin holder until you feel it seat into position with this metal finger pointing straight up. To get ready to thread the top of the machine, first thing we're going to do is raise the presser foot lifter. We're also going to make sure that the thread take up lever is visible. If it isn't, turn your hand wheel toward you until you can clearly see the thread take-up lever at the top of the machine here. There are thread guides in gray that we're going to follow for threading the needle. If you just finished winding a bobbin, the top of your machine probably looks like this. So we're going to take this thread out from the bobbin winding tension disc, but it's already in thread guide one, so we'll leave it there. And we're going to bring it down this channel on the right, around this U-turn, bring it up to the right side of the thread take-up lever, cross over to the left and bring it down again and make sure that you see the thread slip into that hole on the take-up lever. 
that's very important or the machine won't sew right. Next we're going to place the thread into this thread guide just above the needle. Make sure your needle is in its highest position and we're going to use the built-in needle threader to thread the needle. Bring the thread around this thread guide on the left and then swing it around until the prongs encompass the needle. Lightly hold the thread as you let the threader swing back until it forms a loop. Pull the loop to thread the needle. The next thing we have to do is draw up the bobbin thread. So hold the thread with your left hand, your upper thread with your left hand. Turn the hand wheel toward you until it goes down and comes back up, lightly pulling with your left hand until you see this loop come up. Grab the loop, pull it through, and place both threads underneath the presser foot close the cover and we're ready to sew. Now that our machine is threaded, we're ready to test our stitch. When you first turn on the machine, it's already set for straight stitch. So place your fabric underneath the presser foot, lower the presser foot lifter, and step on the foot control to begin sewing. When you come to the end of your sewing, raise the presser foot lifter to remove your work from the machine. When I turn this over and look at my stitch, it looks good on both the top and the back. Top looks good and the back looks good. When you sew, if the back of your stitching looks something like this, this actually means that your upper thread wasn't threaded correctly. So check your manual or your quick start guide and re-thread your upper thread.